There have been many freaks to play the game, but few as stunning as Peter Hudson. Oh, it's a one out kick, but here's Hudson. Hudson comes out to meet it. Oh, almost got the trip. Hudson's still in there. Two comes Minot. Taken here and hand passed to further downfield. Hudson is still going. Hudson straight to kicks. What a throw, a magnificent effort. That's six. He wasn't the greatest overhead mark, and he wasn't quick, yet he was probably the most dangerous forward of his era. Hudson's ability to read the play, his accuracy, and his anticipation put him in a class apart. Oh, and Hudson well swamped, and he's pulled it in. How'd he get that? Alf Potter, honestly, how'd you get a shot of that? In only 130 games for the Hawks, he booted a staggering 727 goals, an average of well over five per game, the highest average in league history. Hudson had two injury-interrupted stints at Glen Ferry Oval from 1967 till 1974, and then after returning from Tasmania in 1977. In that time, he topped the goal-kicking six times. The only occasion he didn't was when recovering from a shocking knee injury incurred against Melbourne in the opening match of the 1972 season. Before he hit the ground, writhing in agony, Hudson had booted eight of his team's nine goals. It was on the way to breaking his record of 16 goals. Ironically, scored against Melbourne three years earlier. Hudson was sidelined until round 21 of the 1973 season, when he returned the same way he'd left, in spectacular fashion. Hudson, Hudson grabs the ball, left foot, at the goal! Hudson's first goal! He breaks to the pocket, looks for Hudson and finds him! He couldn't possibly kick it from there, could he? Hudson, he's moving around. He kicks, oh my God, he's put it through! Ball back in towards the goal square, there's Hudson waiting for it, and Hudson's taking the line! Mar plays on immediately, down into the forward zone. Hudson's in that lot from behind. The ball comes there, Hudson picks it up, he kicks it. Oh, an impossible goal! In his comeback match, Hudson had kicked eight goals against the Magpies, before again falling to injury. But Hudson will be most remembered for missing a great moment of history. The time in the 1971 Grand Final, and the chance to break Bob Pratt's record of 150 goals slipped away from him. In a game of high drama, he missed some easy chances. Then kicked into man on the mark, Barry Lawrence. He should kick it. Up he comes. He kicks. Oh! Hutto was a man to whom the incredible happened with some regularity. At Footscray one day, I chased a guy, Peter Welsh, and I chased him for what I thought was about three or four miles. We ran the whole length of the, almost of the Western Oval, and he was bouncing the ball, bouncing the ball, and on about the eighth bounce, and mind you, all during this, I was losing ground on him, he was getting away from me. On about the eighth bounce, he bounced the ball, popped up over his shoulder and landed in my arms, much to the amazement of everybody in the ground, particularly me. But when I turned around and looked back, the goalposts looked like toothpicks, and I thought that I'd never get back there, so I just kicked it as hard as I could, and it resulted in a goal. Don Scott picked it up and kicked the goal. Quickly down to the full forward zone, Kicks goalward down to Hudson. Hudson right at the goal square. Kicks down toward the full forward zone again. Hudson! Well, correct mark, Peter Hudson. Hudson from behind, edges the player out. Peter Hudson, number 21 in Ron Barassi's greats of the past 31 years.